how to find a job in Russia. Today we're gonna talk about it. And who am I? I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experience and I'm from Moscow district. It is 45 kilometers from the center of Moscow. It is in city of Podolsk. I'm located right now. And I'm trying to find a job for myself and for you it will be valuable information because you will learn more maybe new tools and maybe where can you go, where should you go and uh, where can you find the job in Russia. We have different websites. The most popular it is Headhunter, also Yandex and also it is the Jobiru, we can call it. Okay, again, Headhunter, it is a red website, I can show it right now, it is here. Here, Headhunter looks like this way, Headhunter, 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 and uh, it looks this way. Also have Jobiru, it is, you can <laughs> name it Jobiru and you will find some website. I don't use it so much. And also Yandex, Yandex Vacances, we can call it. Yandex, it is a Russian search engine, as uh, Google maybe in your country, or maybe Yahoo, or maybe another sources of information. Why I said this about Yahoo? Because I, I know that it is kind of uh, super like 1995, maybe 2000 years, uh, or maybe early, I mean that 2005, Okay, and uh, you, understand, you understand that it is search engine Yandex, and uh, when you write on a Russian language in Yandex, like Rabota, Rabota means work in Russian language, then you will find something, or you can write in a Russian search engines, you can write Rabota vacancy, vacancy marketolog, vacancy Programist, vacancy, художник, vacancy, официант. What did I say? I said the this uh, things. I said vacancies, marketer, vacancies, painter, vacancies, artist, vacancies. Also, I said about uh, официант. I said официант. It is waiter, a waiter. Yes, and you can uh, Google like this way. You write it in Russian in Yandex. Also, you can go to the websites like Headhunter and you write it in Russian. Sometimes you can write it in English. We have them, but mostly in IT industries. IT industries are everywhere. Where and if you are a Russian, if you are in Russia, and if you know the IT programming languages, uh, uh, I mean that you know the programming languages that are related to IT, like C++, Perl, or maybe SQL, or JavaScript, Pascal, maybe, but Pascal right now not super popular. The most popular it is C++, Python, and JavaScript. Then you will find a job for you as a programmer, coder, developer, software engineer, and other related topics to the technologies. You can find for FinTech, it means finance technologies, or maybe EdTech, education technologies, or maybe you can find something in the related topics of uh, what's more children maybe tech for children and uh, others because biotech and uh, you can use anything like biotech fintech also car tech and other you can uh, use tech tech root everywhere root we can call it i hope so the part of the world and okay and you can go to this websites and uh, google the job in English. In English you will find only this or maybe you'll find auto jobs. If you want to find for Russian, I mean that in Russian language that you need to Google in Russian because you will not find so I in 99, 98, 98 percentage of probability you will not find a job for in, in Russian in Re in English. You will not find a job in English in 98% of cases. But if you know Russian language, you will find it. Also, where can you find maybe a job without a language? It is for promoting, like you are doing sampling, you are on the streets and you have the play palette, yes, I mean the play palette. P pl plate, you have pellet, <laughs> pellets, yes, here, soft pellet you have, and uh, you have the plate, and uh, you are showing to others, like, hey, it's for you, or you have a flyers, or maybe papers, papers, say, hey, guys, uh, come to me, let's sort the spires from the buyers, the needy from the greedy, and the, those who trust me, and the, the ones who don't, and uh, something like this, uh, shop giving, shop giving things, you are giving to them, samples and uh, maybe you'll find it because they are mostly with a 
technology of uh, Iron Man, Iron Man <laughs> music sound, mu music tool, and uh, you will use this tool to produce sound everywhere, and everybody will listen to the voices that already pre-recorded by voice actors, voice actors, and also voice uh, recorders. Uh, I think so. Voice actors, yes. In Russia, we call it actor uh, звучание and also dictator. Dictator, it is uh, not uh, something related to freedism or something. It means the voice actor in Russian in Russian language. This the synonym of them, because dictate. Yes, dictation and dictator. It is who dictates uh, something on voice. And uh, what? How do I find jobs? I do this. I go to the website. It is what I found already. It is uh, where I will go. It is the the three vacancies that I found that will be maybe interesting for me. I go to the headhunter. Then I search for a job that interesting for me. Marketolog, for example. And then I have this this jobs. And I scroll down and open everything, everything, everything. If I'm not good at some skills, I read the vacancies. I pick the I pick the words that I don't know, for example, for example, I don't know what is net 4848, I go to the website, okay, net, what does net, net framework do, and then I google it, and actually I have the collection of, uh, of terms that I'm not familiar with, and I have the specific word document, необходимые навыки, it means required skills, and I write my like job job description. I mean job name. It is profession name, marketolog. And here is uh, UI UX worker and also other like computer related stuff. Also here will be so soon the the event event manager. Also system administrator. Also HRD HRB. P, and I wrote everything that I should have, like skills that need to improve maybe, or maybe need to Google more, or maybe I'm familiar but need to refresh it in my memory because something changed maybe. And then I go to the websites and when everything is good and I know how it works, I do the making it bold. Okay, I learn something and I make it bold and then when everything will be learned, I went to every vacation. I I went I went to every vacancy. Then I go to the. Uh, then I go again to the headhunter and I go to the jobs and write resume 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 for the I mean CV curriculum vitae. I write it and then I formulate that I have the skills and I show them it. Yes, I have it and to look at my. Things I want to go to your job. It is kind of preparation. It is the phase of preparation we have when we can go to the work. Preparation takes... Uh, it all depends on the work th where you want to go. And uh, it is... You learn required skills. Then you have the required skills. You kind of write specific... First, it is learning. Learning it is a process that could have two preparation. Preparation it is when you write down what you need to learn, then you learn it, and then you have it, and you apply it. Then you you are going to the specific specific writing CV preparation. You wrote it, and then you apply to the forms of the jobs. And then you are going to the jobs, and you are calling, and you do kind of the process of going to the job. It is interviewing part. And after interviewing, you are already on a job, and you are nice, and now you see the communication around you, if it is friendly and nice, and you are like this job, and it brings you value, and value in a meaning of happiness, and also in a meaning of that material, forms and goods and needs, then everything is fine and you are on the job. Okay, it is uh, kind of easy and I think that everybody understands this process. But at least for me, it is uh, like super obvious uh, what's, uh, what's going on. And uh, for me, what's not super obvious, actually it is obvious, but it is kind of harder. It is uh, learning the all the stuff. It is uh, sometimes a little bit harder. I mean that a little bit it takes more iterations. Harder it in this context, it takes more iterations. Like it takes iterations not of 10, 
then it is like easy task. But a little bit harder, it will be 100 iterations. It is when you can go to the websites and you Google what is e-commerce and then you are finding new five terms. If it is new five terms you found, then you again googling this this term, this, this, this. It means that one term could mean different things and inside of this different things things we have a lot of new. For example, we can go right now to the website of Wikipedia, yes, Chemi glossary of chemistry terms or artificial intelligence and we can read something. For example, we can go to something like AlphaGo, yes, let's, let's read it. AlphaGo, a computer program that plays the board game Go. It was developed by Alphabet Inc. Uh, Inks, Google DeepMind in London. AlphaGo has several versions including AlphaGo Zero, AlphaGo Master, AlphaGo Lee, etc. In October 2015, AlphaGo became the first computer Go program to, to beat a human professional Go player without handicaps on a full-size 99 board. And here is the information about uh, AlphaGo and we maybe let's assume or maybe let's think in this way let's assign that we don't know what's computer program we go to the computer program and then learn it it's a collection of instructions that can be executed by a computer we don't know what's computer okay let's go to the computer computer is a machine that can be programmed to carry a sequence of arithmetic and log logical of operation automatically what's machine machine is uh, any physical okay human made molecular machine chemical wind and we learn everything forces what is a force in physics it is an and and you learn it like fully you need to learn all the basics to understand everything and basics actually it is sciences and uh, in my opinion because uh, sometimes at least you need to understand it and uh, when you understand how it works in a science way then you understand how it works everywhere absolutely because when you understand how all the built in a mini of the world then jesus christ it is so <laughs> lord holy moly you you understand everything uh, ex extremely everything because uh, if you know how it uh, built in a physics manner then you kind of understand you can understand how it built uh, in a physical manner 100 percently and also in a mini of that people can say about it. I mean that we know that science it is kind of 100% thing, but sometimes it is not 100% thing because we can find something more. And it means that it is kind of 100%-ish because we have laws of Newton and we have laws of relative physics and also some of the small particles physics and uh, what's the name of it? Relativists... Re a rel a relative, yes, a relative stuff and super small qu qu quarks and also boson of Higgs and also some of the whole theorems and also some manifestations and formulas for uh, small particles and connections between the electrons, neutrons and protons inside of these things and uh, matter of it and uh, it is kind of uh, different laws for this and for this and uh, sometimes uh, it happens. But actually if you know the all the basics of the world then it will be easier and what do i do right now i found different types of jobs for i mean that i search and i found the the vacancies for job called uh, marketer because i like marketing it is uh, something interesting for me because i like to communicate with people in the meaning of i understand what's uh, happening in the society it uh, makes me happy to know what's uh, what's around us because sometimes you are in physics physics uh, and chemistry and engineering and also software but you need to learn what's around and uh, that's why i learned it and also okay we have this information and also I, I go to the marketing and also I go to the something computer science related stuff. I'm not super fully inside of it, need to learn a lot of stuff about it. And maybe I will upload a lot of content about uh, how I learn glossaries on this channel or in other my channels. And also I can go to the something like video production related stuff or maybe art related stuff artistic things uh, but there are not so super big amount of jobs and also sales sales i like to sales in the meaning of uh, face to face like we are here not remote but uh, 
current you are going to the store and I communicate with you. So, you found all the information how it goes in Russia and uh, you, again, what, uh, let's repeat, we have websites Yandex, Headhunter, Headhunter highly recommend, and also Joby, Ru, three websites, also you can find it on Avita. Avita it is kind of, I forgot what's the name of it in your country, in America you have website kind of like eBay, but something, analogy of eBay, one moment, eBay, eBay analogy, one moment, it is something, something you are eBay cross or something cross stitch oh no 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 I mean that something really like eBay what's the name of it in your country I remember in America you have it something like eBay but really with information stands dashboards and you have the kind of information here information here I sell it I sell it I sell it and uh, kind of shopping shopping and uh, flipping flipping website and uh, you have it and in Russia we have it too Avita it is kind of official but not official also you can go to the company websites and find it on Russian websites for example you can go to the companies like Yandex again to Azon Azon Amazon, it is like Russian Amazon. Wild Bear is Russian Amazon too. And uh, you can go to them. And uh, Wild Bear, is, I think that it is not only in Russia, it is on in other countries too. And uh, also you can find a job for Sbier Market, Sbier Bank, it is uh, Russian banking and also banking related. Sbier, it is the company, it is like empire in Russia. Also you can find Gazprom, it is for energetics and for oil and for the specific like fields of uh, f fossil fossils uh, iskapaime in Russia we call it iskapaime it is when you iskapaime one moment it is fossilis fossils mineral fossils again Fossils, fossils, yes. You can find fossils, energy related stuff. Also, you can go to the different uh, industries. And Gazprom Bank, it is uh, banking again for Gazprom. Also, you can go to the stores. Pitorechka, Perikrestek, Magnit, Magnolia, Takže, also, Takže, it is also in Russian language. You can go to the how, what are the stores in Russia? Ocean, it is French related. Also, you can go, go to the L'Oreal. It is uh, for, I think it is French or something French related uh, stuff uh, for perfumery and aroma. Also, you can go to Adidas, Nike, also Reebok and others to the bookstores such as Respublika, also Chitai Gorod. It is Chitai Gorod, it is one of them. And Labyrinth, Labyrinth in Russia, we call it for books to also Biblio Globus, uh, Moskovsky Dom Knigi, it is Moscow bookstore, largest one. And also Moskva, it is one more. And Spark U, it is the shop, grocery, and uh, you are talking Carousel, it is Carousel, and uh, it is for again for the shop store huge and uh, re retail and also you can go to the metal metal constructions and also building companies i need to learn it uh, i i need to learn more information about it like what are the construction building sites and also you can go to the architectural bureaus in russia in moscow in podolsk in saint petersburg in krasnodar in novosibirsk in arkhangelsk in khabarovsk or maybe in other parts of russia we have them and in sochi you can go to the parks and also you can be a guide if you have a Russian language and uh, other things and uh, also we have Nayabarsk it is a city in Russia it is a north city as Saint Petersburg near and Murmansk it is near the Saint Petersburg to also Gatchina it is near the Saint Petersburg also Petergov near the Saint Petersburg near the Moscow you will find Adinsova it is region Dzerzhinsky it is the kind of region city as Podolsk too. It is kind of region and also in the same time it is uh, district and city because near the Moscow everything is Moscow but uh, in some ways. Also we have Himki, it is uh, 
north north city north a little bit of to the left northwest northwest part of the moscow also you can go to the yekaterinburg and other places in russia and to work there it is near the ural and uh, arinburg it is near the ural also you can go to the ulyanovsk it is near the ural to and uh, Ur- ural mountain and everywhere you can go and uh, thank you a lot for watching if you want to know more maybe about russia then let me know it is interesting to talk by the way i didn't talk before i know something like in the united states you have texas you have washington dc also you have ohio utah also california new jersey new york also north dakota south dakota west virginia country mama uh, take me home country roads and also you have the Wisconsin, also Maine for Stephen King and it and other things. And also you have the New Hampshire and uh, I think that's Alabama, Sweet Home Alabama and uh, another things you have in uh, your country. Also you have Mexico, Viva Mexico Cabrones everybody and uh, Molotov songs and it is uh, okay it is geography classes with uh, knowing the geography facts and also Indonesia okay Jakarta Kalimantan also something like Malaysia related to Bandung and uh, uh, other things uh, Singapore near you have like to the northwest part <laughs> ish and so uh, other China you can work there Kazakhstan also to the left it will be Ukraine Belarus and also Poland okay it's something it, it went to the side of the geography related stuff okay you know how to find a job now and uh, I shared to you websites headhunter again Yandex and the Jobiru and also go into the websites of uh, of the companies you can find contacts and uh, do kind of calling or emailing to them sometimes they are answer at least they have jobs inside of these companies that they are answering should answer daily or maybe day after day but uh, right now it is 21st century and everybody should uh, answer like daily and on a daily basis like fast moving it is always so thank you a lot for watching improve cell daily and uh, yes everything depends on you see ya see ya